I don't know that the process ever gets easy in terms of discussing the need for perhaps another level of care for your parents because, first of all, you have to deal with the fact that your parents are now aging and they're not as strong and they're not as independent as you were used to having them be. And so it's a process also, I think, for the adult children to understand the dynamics and how that affects us. We learned in this process over the years the importance of making sure that one, to the best of one's ability, makes it possible for seniors to live as independently as possible for as long as possible because uh, they're giving up uh, more and more independence every step that one takes in this continuum of care. And so I think it's important to just take as much time as one can and be as patient as one can be. We also had to learn that sometimes the reactions that especially his mom had were not really directed at us. She was angry with this latest move but it was because she's angry that her body's betraying her. She feels very vibrant and, and very wants to be involved in things, but just is no longer capable of it. And, and that's hard to accept. Um, aging's not easy. My mom had a magnet on her refrigerator said it, getting old is not for sissies. And that, you know, that's true. <laughs> what I also learned was how important it is to plan ahead as opposed to waiting until an emergency happens and then you don't have the decision-making power. And yeah. to include them in the decision-making right. also. We want to respect their dignity and not just take charge. One of the greatest things we're <clears throat> thankful for at Emmanuel is the continuum of care. Because Fred's parents did not age at the same rate when Fred's dad moved into the skilled nursing and his mom into assisted living, she still joined him for all the meals. She spent the evening watching television with him. They were still together even though they were in separate levels of care. They'll be celebrating their 67th wedding anniversary this next month and they're still together and that's important to us.